what we all want is freedom. And what is freedom? It's the right to do or not do whatever you want to do or don't want to do unless you're harming somebody else. Yeah, well that's the best part. So, what we got going on here is freedom to obey. And that wasn't the idea. Our forefathers fought and died to free us from the slave masters of our ancestors. And we don't have any tyrants here. We don't have any kings. We don't have dictators. We haven't been taken over. We are not subjects to anybody. We are citizens. And those people who think that they can make rules that we have to obey, that are not about interfering with other people in harmful ways, while they are criminally abusing their power and they are in contempt of us. And these laws that, that tell you that you can't use a herb for whatever you want, you can't pick a flower, you can't put something in your mouth and ingest it, well they're just damn wrong. Because you can do whatever you want unless you're hurting somebody else. You can even hurt yourself. Nobody owns your ass but you. You don't belong to nobody else. You want to go out and celebrate and get pissed drunk? Fall on your face and puke for three days with headaches? That's your business. You want to learn how to ski when you never skied before? Strap them on and hit the hills, man. You can go break a leg. It's your life and it's your leg. So these laws are in violation of us. It was never really about what they said, which is these laws need to be here to protect people from themselves and to protect other people from people taking drugs because they said that taking these substances, especially marijuana back in the day, would cause murderous delirium. It would be like handing a loaded gun to a maniac. So they had to make these laws. But it turns out that's not the case. And it never really was the case. This is about money. This is about control. This is about a protection racket for the corporate elite who have taken us over, who have hijacked our democracy, and who think they own our asses. Well, I thank you all for coming here today to smoke weed in unison with all the rest of us in defiance of these laws. Much wiser people than me, many times over the course of history, have uttered words that mean this. When these laws are made and they are in violation of us, it is our duty to break them. You are doing your duty by breaking these bad laws and standing up to it. I want to thank the Vancouver Police for being here today, for being so chill, for keeping us safe. But those regulations, and there's a vast array of them, they must be scaled back when they reach the point that a black market will be viable. Because the black market will sell the things with no regulations. They'll sell anything to anyone of any age. And there's no recourse. You can't sue them. Your gang has to be bigger than their gang. And we all know what's going on around here with the gangs. And how we're all in danger and they're, they're shooting each other and, and us too. And that's all because they're trying to prohibit a substance that only increases demand, that only guarantees that black market. Our public servants are directly responsible for the organized criminal gangs that are putting us all at risk. So that's the third pillar of the Freedom Tour is, is what the costs and the dangers of trying to prohibit substances are. And there's a vast array of those costs and dangers and not much benefit unless you own a pharmaceutical company or want control of people's minds. And the fourth point of the, for of the Freedom Tour is the value of hemp and cannabis for all that it could be used for, for us and our economy and our environment. And we all, I think here, either know that or have the ability to get educated about that at any one of the number of different booths here and any one of the number of different people here that can educate you about how hemp is the greatest chunk of biomass that nature ever has given us. It can be used for building materials, for making plastics, for making clothing, for making paper. It's the best medicine for a huge array of different conditions because...